Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my auto sorting vault system I was working on. Uh, it was actually quite some time ago now. I never really got around to finish it. Um, it's running on Minecraft 1.6 and it's using an older version of uh, Buildcraft, Industrial Craft, and Integrated Redstone, which is now called Redstone Power. Um, so a lot of the details you'll see in the video probably aren't going to apply fully to anymore if you're using like Minecraft 1.73 or later in the, the newer mods, but it's basically sort of just a proof of concept. Um, I'll start by just kind of showing you the vault itself. Um, I don't claim to have invented most of the stuff in here, like for instance the way the, the chests are stacked. I uh, don't take any credit for making that. That was something I saw on the Minecraft forums, I think. But basically, if you if you put glass on top of a chest, then you can you can open it without any problems. Um, it's pretty much one of the more efficient ways I've found to set up your your vaults or chests. And basically, I have each material is uh, sectioned off into its own little group of chests. I have a lot for cobblestone because you know you get a lot of cobblestone in Minecraft. And I have dirt. I have basically all the basic materials for that you get out of the ground along here. And then I go into like the ores. I can see I have tin and copper. Those are industrial craft ores. And I mean basically there's just a section for everything. Some of the less common stuff I only use two chests. There's also a downstairs. So as you can see, it's still definitely a work in progress, but I'm probably not going to finish this now. Um, I'm waiting for Industrial Craft 2 to come out, and then I'll probably start over again, because I don't think the world's going to be compatible with it, so I'll probably just ditch this one. But I have some more stuff here, like arrows, bones, bone meal, blah, blah, blah. And my original idea was for to have it go all the way around. And then this last section here is kind of like a, I guess you could call it a catch-all. Anything that doesn't fit in any of the previous chests will end up in these ones. Like I have uranium and some integrated redstone stuff. But I'll go back upstairs. And I'll show you some of the behind the scenes stuff. I also dropped a uh, kind of carved out the middle here and I put a uh, basic crafting area. Let me head this way. This is where you drop all your crap to go in the, in the vault. It's the vault sorting line. And like I said, it uses the older build craft stuff, so it's all powered by um, alternating redstone currents. So I'll just drop, uh, I'll drop some ore on this one, and some other random stuff in here. Some random stuff in there. Now the newer Buildcraft actually has engines, and depending on which engine you use, like it's there's like a redstone engine, a steam engine, and a combustion engine. Um, I think the higher engines, like the combustion and the, uh, the steam engine, will actually pull stacks of items out. But the redstone one, like the one I'm using anyway, the old version, will only take one item at a time, so it's really slow. But anyway, I have a couple switches here. I have this switch will turn on the actual redstone that powers these wooden pipes that suck the items out of the chests. And then I have further back, I have a... Uh, I'll check I'll just go over and show you. It's a what'd you call it? Like a smelting room, I guess. I call it a smelter on the sign, so I guess that's what I call it. This is the behind the scenes of the uh the the pipes that go into the chest. I'll kinda I'll get into that in a minute. So here's where the switches are. Like as you can see, this is like a it's a redstone timer from Integrated Redstone um, that just runs the 
a pulse through here every, what was it, three seconds? Like I said, it's kind of irrelevant because it doesn't really apply to the newer versions of Buildcraft. But all the items come from the chest and they they join into, uh, let me see, do I have any blocks? They come out and they join into this pipe here, then that one joins into that pipe. So you have basically three chests going into one pipe. And it goes down the main line there, which goes to the vault. And this line runs out to the smelter room that controls the the furnaces and stuff. Um, so it, basically, anything that comes down here, if it is if it's a uh, unrefined ore, it will get separated into this section here. So I don't know if I can click this. Yeah, so. Copper ore, iron ore, tin ore, gold ore goes down the green line, which means it goes this way. And then once again, it gets separated into separate lines. So we have all the copper in this chest, iron ore, etc., etc. Now let me go. I'll go turn it on real quick, so we can see it in action. So this turns on the sorting line. You can see the stuff starting to leave now. And once it hits the gold pipe, it'll accelerate. So now I'll turn on the smelter. As you can see, it's not really, it's I don't know, it's sort of sloppy, well, it's really sloppy. It's something I, I kind of just winged it, I built it as I went along, and it eventually got a little cleaner by the time I got to the end of it, but now you can see here, if you watch for a second, you should see the ore go this way. There comes one, and there it goes that way, and it goes into a chest, and the chests kind of act like buffers. That way it doesn't overwhelm the macerators. And the macerators are part of industrial craft. It basically, the ore comes out of there, drops into the macerator, grinds it up into dust, and then you get two dust per block. So that block right there will make two tin dust. And that'll jump over into the electric furnace, turn into a, an ingot, and then send back down the line. And what happens then is it basically just comes back out it rejoins onto the main line Let's see if do I have one coming uh, that's gonna be a second anyway it joins on the main line and gets back just continues on as if it was a regular item and then of course when it gets to this filter it doesn't pass that so it just continues on now anything that is cobblestone, dirt, sand, sandstone, or stone goes this way. These are called diamond pipes and they let you just let you filter items. And then it goes to another diamond filter pipe and then it gets split so the cobblestone goes over here and then I think it's dirt maybe it goes that way. But anyway, basically you have to put a an iron pipe here because when the items come through there's such a mishmash of pipes here that they the items take random directions at each intersection so I found if I didn't have that um, some of the items would take such random directions that they wouldn't actually make it to a chest and they would end up coming back out just by chance and they'd come back down the line and it would just wasn't very good so you put the iron pipe there I think it's an iron pipe and that prevents the items from coming back out so, um, let's see what else. So I'll just take a walk down the pipe here. There's one. So as you can see on this one, I have... This is where I'm sorting through all the... the ores. 
So like for instance I have a tin section and I stored unrefined tin I guess blocks, um, tin ingots and tin dust. So as you can see it, it takes up quite a bit of space. Like I have three, six, nine. You can fit nine items per color, which means I'm short three because I have four different metal types. Therefore I had to kind of separate tin off into the red and then the other ones in the blue. I mean it, it really it, it sort of makes a bit of a mess but I mean you gotta do what you gotta do. So this one just runs down here and it comes back up and around and then it goes into its own collection of chests there. I mean, it it could be a little better, but I mean, really, it's just a just a proof of concept. Basically, that design repeats the whole way down. So, for instance, down here, this is getting towards the end of the top level. So I have the pipe drop down to the next level down. Let me see, can I get back out of here? No. Of course not. It's a bit of a maze, that's for sure. Let's go this way. Of course it decided to rain, so hopefully it's not too loud. You can see a bone just came through there. So the items drop down here and then they continue back around. I mean like like I said, there's not really once you've seen the first section it's you know, it's fairly self explanatory. There's nothing real special about it. I mean it could obviously be a lot more complex than this, but you know, this is just I mean it's just a basic sorting room. Like you could probably get fancy and and put wooden pipes on the front of the chests too and then have like I don't know switches somewhere that you flick a switch and it pulls items out of the chests but then it would be hard for you to actually manually come down and grab stacks of stuff but with the newer the newer mods like the Billcraft 2.1 and the new redstone power mod where you can really do some advanced stuff with the redstone um, it'd probably make that a lot easier to do so let's see what else do I want to do here I guess I'll show the power. I have a quick access door over here somewhere. It's just a couple of solar flowers. Nothing special, it's pretty much enough power to run my whole operation. I have some expandability here. Ah, that's kind of loud. So my cables come down, and they go all the way down here. I have a quite a few of these MFEs just so that I don't run out of power what the f how do I get over there? Oh. let's see here I have okay so these cable go these cables go to my if I cut through here, there's my central little. See, this is inside the vault here. This is my little thing with jigger where I can build stuff. And then this cable runs all the way down to the smelter. And it goes up right up in there. I have these everywhere. I figured I'd just use these and store the power instead of doing high voltage lines. I don't know. I don't know what the pros and cons are, but I figured this was just better. 
so I can have a lot of power stored for nighttime. I also have a water generator elsewhere in my base, but I don't really use it anymore. Uh, let me think, is there anything else that I need to show? I have these timers set up. Um, this one is at 16 seconds and this one is at 8. And the reason I did that is because I don't want to overflow the system. So basically this is pulling out a chunk of ore every 16 seconds and then when it puts it in there it turns into 2. So you know 8 times 2 is 16 so basically what it ends up is as the second one leaves the macerator the the next one or as, as the second dust leaves the macerator the next or block should just be coming in see these ones are leaving and the or block just went in so let's watch this again so that's leaving and then this one's just coming down now Basically that just makes it so that it never overflows. Because if you had a steady stream of blocks coming in, like you know, one every second, then this wouldn't be able to convert it fast enough and you would end up with a you know, eventually you'd get sixty four iron ore in this in the in the macerator and then it would overflow and then it would just start spitting stuff out onto the floor. So instead of having to use like obsidian pipes to gather it all up, I just use timers to make sure that it, it's all in sync. And I have this timer runs both extracting the iron or the the dust from here from the macerator, and it controls taking out the ingots from the furnace. So these two are just naturally in sync. Pretty basic. My ultimate goal, if I ever did finish this, was to basically use this room here as like a main receptacle. So I could put like, I could use these three chests just to dump crap into it and have it automatically sorted into the vault. And then I could also say, have another line coming in from over here and just, you know, plug it in here somewhere or another iron pipe and like say there's a you know a bunch of quarries over there somewhere and they can just keep spitting items this way and it would automatically tie into here and it would all automatically get sorted into into my vault you know smelt it if it needed to be I mean I think I think that'd be pretty slick pretty much a completely automated resource gathering system you don't have to worry about collecting anything you don't have to worry about sorting anything yourself and like I said, the only, the only other thing you could do is, you know, make like a big switch panel where you could, like, you know, I could click this lever and I would get, you know, a stack of cobblestone or and then click the one beside and get a stack of dirt. I mean, that would be a lot more advanced than I'm doing here, but I think it would definitely be pretty cool. Now that I turn that stuff off, you should see that... The little factory thing is turned off in here, the smelter. Yep. And it's definitely a good idea to put chests here. That way you can control how much stuff you feed into the, the macerators. And it also means that you could run the uh, the main sorting line separate from the factory so if your your sorting line is running and your factory is not basically that the the, uh, the ore blocks come through and they sort into the into the smelter and then just sit in the chest like this they don't actually have to be used up and in, in smelt they can just sit here and wait until you actually want to run the factory and that just you know it helps you if you're running low on energy or if you need your energy for you know, like a huge mining expedition or some other project then you can leave this off and still sort all your items. 
Mm, I think that's about it. I can't really think of anything else to that needs explaining. I mean, it's it's pretty basic. You know, it's, uh, it's not really rocket science. I mean, anyone that's played Buildcraft or used Buildcraft or Industrial Craft or you know, integrated Redstone for you know even a couple of days could figure this out. A couple ideas came from forums. A couple ideas I made myself. Like this one, I mean, this is a pretty standard idea. Like I came up with this myself, but I mean, you know, it's not real tricky. I mean, anyone can figure this out on their own, in my opinion, anyway. So yeah, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. Um, I'll probably rebuild this when I when Industrial Craft 2 comes out and uh, try to improve it a little bit. Uh, it probably won't be for a while though because it, it's a lot of work to make this. I didn't, I didn't use any you know cheats, I didn't use any inventory edits, I didn't use MC edit or anything. And this is all stuff that I mined myself and, and built myself so it did take a fairly long time. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.